cold as I expected. I've got five kilometres of paddling to do with about four hours of daylight to do it in. With an incoming tide and favourable breeze, I expect a very, very pleasant paddle. A few stops to try and master this new gimbal, which I'm in love with. Yeah, yeah, I know, enough with the time lapse. With time on my side, I stopped frequently and did a little bit of exploring. After a most relaxing paddle, I arrive at my campsite. With the kayak unpacked, it's time to set up my tent. I really fall in love with this little number from Austral. It's their Vertex 2, a little two-man tent. Very easy to erect, stows inside my kayak and perfect for car camping as well. That's my sleeping quarters done. And now for my $40 Audi hiking chair. I really have no idea how I got away without this. I used to bring a full-size chair up here, which was a real pain in the ass. Well, all the wood's collected, camp's up, gotta be time for a beer. Sun's just about down. Time to spark up the fire and get ready for the evening. Check out this full moon, barely a breath of wind. Does it get any better? Sunset, my one and only beer is long gone, so it's time to break out the big guns. Scotch concentrate, 80%. Ah, 
Oops, a bit wide for later. Nice water. Cold bag. Cheers. I did no good fishing on the way up, so it looks like noodles it is. Good thing my backup meal was noodles and not soup, I'd left my spork at home. Would have been bloody hard to eat that with a stick. With the washing up out of the way, there's only one thing left to do. Chill out and enjoy the evening. Listen to that. Conditions are perfect, apparently it's going to turn to shit sometimes through the night or in the morning. Yeah, half past ten and the fire's still burning strong. But that's it, no more wood. I've got more scotch, more wine, but I've got no more energy or motivation in that area. Yeah, looking, looking forward to pulling a few Zs. Been a long day. Not so much the paddle up or anything, but just, yeah, the whole weekend. The paddle up was really good. Yeah, I pretty much just drifted up the river with the tide. Very, very pleasant. Oh, what an awesome sleep. Probably a combination of the scotch and the, and the ambience, but anyway, magic. Rained about half past four this morning, not, not that heavy. It's hard to, well you're looking at it now, but there's supposed to be a fair bit of rain coming in a bit later this morning. Can't start the day without a coffee, even if it is in a bag. Yeah, I needed that. It's become really dark to the north. I can see a rain front coming in pretty quick. To um, save breaking camp and packing the kayak, all wet, I thought I'd um, pack up a bit early and hit the water. I've been on the water for about five minutes and here she comes. Stow the phone with the camera gear and the other electronics and we should be good to go. Not letting the rain dampen my enthusiasm, I thought I'd detour for a quick look around.
Yeah, sorry for those people who aren't into orchids. I promise I'll make this quick. There's a couple of dendrobium amulums that I caught in full flower a few years ago, but not so lucky today. Oh, and a cute little baby, Symbidium medidum. There's yeah, some upsides to paddling on the river in the rain. I'm the only one out here today. Oh, except for Skip here, he didn't seem to mind me getting up close and personal. Thanks mate, I'll leave you in peace. The rust coloured rock that gives Iron Gates a landmark on this river its name. A pair of pied oyster catchers. Score. You'd wonder how a bathtub got here. Well, time to head home. I'm wet and I'm cold, and I'll do it again in a heartbeat. A super comfortable adventure can be had with minimal amount of gear. So do yourself a favour, give it a go. Till next time, bye.